So welcome back guys to a brand new video now today is a video following up from the one I did about I think it was two weeks ago now talking about the whole snail games and wildcard situation now after a couple of weeks of thinking about it seeing a lot of other videos and a lot of other video uh, YouTubers talking about it I thought you know what let's talk about the future and the next steps of how I would like to see the game and I'm really interested to read your comments and uh, just how Shio Wildcard can move forward with this. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video as always smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and just a little bit of a a little bit of something to um for, for the today's commentary video i just thought i'd throw on the uh um indirects onto the game again just to uh and put it on the island and see if we can bump into one just because it'd be funny to see um because on a small map if we don't bump into one i'll be very shocked but so two weeks ago, I talked about, you know, what I thought about the situation. It was very hot in the news with what had been going on with uh, Hod, the YouTuber, all the different PvP YouTubers, you know, of how snail games were literally on other people's, like on, a, like on servers, banning people because they were getting raided and they had OP loot. They had loot that was literally like Apprentice with like 600 armor and stuff like that. It was absolutely crazy. And just basically destroying the game. And I went on to do some research and f weirdly what I saw is things from like 2017 2018 2021 of people before this whole thing was coming out talking about snail games and like literally saying that like they've seen like this dark side this weird thing that's going on recycling the game and everything like that and i was like how have i never seen this stuff like literally like why why have i not really looked into it and it takes like the community to really come out and talk about it before we can actually like sort of you know actually know see and know what's going on and that was the craziest thing for me so i also heard some other people talking about in videos is is there a way for studio wildcard out of this so-called partnership or something that, that they've got because if i'm correct i don't know if this is the right information so i'm not confirming anything but if i'm correct um snail games was kind of there at the beginning when wildcard were a very small company they needed the money and that was kind of you know the early stages of it and you know without that sort of early initial money they got from snail games they might not have been able to make arc the game that it was today and now that it is such a massive game and snail games are still involved with it and stuff it's a billion dollar game uh, if you haven't seen my video a couple of days ago talking about how arc is now worth one or well, is that gross 1.3 billion dollars you know snail games must be rubbing their hands but i have seen obviously they're not making that much money and that's why this whole thing had been going on with you know um what uh, you know the arc survival ascended thing and i definitely believe that there's been some sort of uh, like input from snail games that has caused like you know just cause things to that didn't need to happen to happen you know like delays of arc 2 and i'm sure studio wildcard would have done this all in a completely different way if it wasn't for them so i obviously don't have all the facts i've done little bits of research my videos are more commentary videos talking about situations and everything so i don't always comment on things that i don't i, well, I don't always confirm or you know all those types of things that i don't know too much on and that's why it's obviously i like making these videos because that's where you guys can come in and i like to be able to favorite some of the comments talking about the facts and stuff but i also you know listened in on snail games is uh, most recent um uh, like interview talking about money that they you know how how it was going and stuff and it all just seems very very fishy so for me how do i see the future and how do i see arc succeeding i mean it's already succeeded as one of the best games survival games in history you know with how much it's worth now um but like how can i see it in the best place possible in the future moving forward now ascended for me is wasn't the right move i really don't believe it was i thought it was very cool that they had moved arc uh, you know arc into unreal engine 5 and that was a plan because i feel like that's cool for people that are staying on this version and not moving over to arc 2 at that initial time but 
I so but I'm now I am now happy with the way they're going to move forward with Ascended I still think it's cool they're adding lots and lots of features which makes me feel happy about paying for a new product they didn't make us pay for the same DLC being money grabbing or anything like that um so I'm happy with those plans, but the only way I can see a very clear and happy community moving forward with this game is either one, Studio Wildcard finds themselves out of a deal with Snail Games, which I don't know, could be crazily, crazily cost uh, costly. I'm sure it would be because there's no way, you know, Snail Games is going to back out with something like making this much money. Um, and especially with the future of the game, it's going to continue to grow and grow with S Survival Ascended and Arc 2. So that's never going to that's never going to leave for sure. And so I am like just still thinking, is there a way that snail games can come out with a statement with things that have been going on recently and say that they're changing their ways or you know or you know that you know, or just something to talk to the community because i just don't really think they care to be honest like there's never any communication they're always completely silent they act like arc is not anything related to them you never see anything related to snail games and funny enough, I had an email um, not that long ago from someone at Snail Games asking me to test out um, one of their games on mobile. And I love when I get um, developers and companies and stuff come with me to, you know, to ask me to check out their games and stuff. And even if people come to me with sponsorships, you know, Dom, can you check this out? I'm obviously, you know, I've been doing YouTube for, um, you know, part time, full time over time. So I love taking on opportunities like that. Um, and even if it's a game I really want to check out, I will, you know, a lot of the time I like to check out, especially if it's something related to ARC. But when all this started to come up, I, I just felt at that point, even though there wasn't all a lot of news, I, I heard some strange stuff had gone on. So I was very, very, I don't think I ended up responding to the email because I was like, I I don't, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, with, with what's going on with the community. I don't want to get involved in something that's, you know, with, with snail games at the moment with all that's happening. So I gen I just didn't respond. So I think the best way forward, I, I, I mean, they, they must know everything that's going on. I mean, they post a tweet and they don't tweet much because they can't because, you know, so if they, they post a tweet and literally it is everyone just like, going at them and and i'm not saying i never say i would never ever say to anyone go and hate on someone but if someone's doing something literally rubbing things in your face being money grabbing then it's always fine to get your voice heard and as a community and stand up against it because we love we all love this game and uh, this game has not only brought me into a world i never imagined i was gonna get into um but it, it's brought so many happy memories for me with friends and i'm sure with as well of you guys Guys, it's brought it's brought new relationships together and uh yeah so that was kind of something i needed to to get off my chest something to talk about um you know regarding the issue and uh i'm just interested to see what you guys think about it in the comment section how do you feel like what do you think are the perfect next steps because at the end of the day i say all of this and it could just end up going on as normal and the thing that worries me the only one of the biggest things that worries me within um you know the the future of this game is is you know we have a survival ascended come out we we know there's more paid dlcs coming out and everything like that I, i'm sorry if you if you guys are wondering i've got like snail games type armor on um but uh yeah if if like um you know if, if you've if you've been I, I completely forgot about my point and now i'm hot again how am i hot again you know what screw the armor <laughs> Is it she just put me off every, my, my point that I was talking about and I don't even have that point writ written down because sometimes I like to just go on and talk about different points from what I say. Um, so that's a bit frustrating. But um, yeah, it was about moving forward, wasn't it? And I, I, I even though I might have just cut out a point I was saying there, I think you guys know where I'm coming from and I would love to see this game either without them in the future 
um, involved, which I don't think is going to be possible. Um, or so they, they, they come out with some sort of statement. They say, we noticed some things we've going on. We've learned as a, com- a company. We'd love to, we work closely with Wildcard and we're going to make this game better. And that point has just come into my head again that I missed from earlier. Um, ascended, I was going to say, what worries me, that was it, in the future coming up is that I don't want it to become so money grabbing to the point we're just waiting for new things, you know, been waiting for Arc 2 and stuff and then instantly something else pops up. Oh, click to buy this or click to do this or, you know, just I don't want Arc to turn into that. This game has been so successful for so long because it was a game that stayed away from those microtransactions. So that's the biggest thing for me that I don't want to happen. But anyway... That is pretty much my little, uh, not rant, you guys know I like to just discuss and talk things through with you guys and everything in these commentary videos um, on different points and uh, I can't wait to listen to, uh, well listen to the comments, to read the comments and see what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. As you guys know I'm now releasing daily uploads again because I hadn't for a while and uh, you know with the release of Arc Survival Ascended it's, uh, it's time. So I'll see you guys in my next video.